If you've been following along in our journey, you know that we recently had our RV door latch completely break. So thanks to Amazon, I have ordered a new latchet RV door lock. We're going to unbox it and install it. So stay tuned. everybody I'm Natasha but I'm also known in this household as Barb Vila yes I am little miss fix it things break down in the rig and I am usually the one to repair them recently in our travels we had our RV deadbolt fail and door latch completely break for details on that story, check out the video link right here. Now we did replace our door latch with something cheap and off the shelf we found at Camping World. However, we really, really loved the keypad auto lock feature that our previous door latch had. So we hopped on Amazon and found a product by Latchet that I'm really excited to try. Not only does it have the keyless entry, but it has a key fob that you can put on your keys and just hit a button to unlock and lock your RV deadbolt. Now this is the Latchet RV door lock. This baby is pretty heavy, so I know it is made with good quality parts. Yeah, you get a little bit of a workout here. Let's crack this baby open. The first item on top is this sticky foam pad. It's not only going to cover up any marks from your previous door latch, but it's also going to give you a little extra padding between your door and the latchet deadbolt. You also get the instructions right on top. This door latch does require four AA batteries, which Latchet was kind enough to provide. Now we're getting to the hardware. Of course, it comes with two strike plates, one for the door and one for the door jam, as well as the screws to install them. Next is this handy dandy little pen looking device. Once you open the cap, you'll see it actually is a teeny tiny Phillips head screwdriver on one side and a flat head screwdriver on the other. You don't even have to go find your own tools. Ooh, this is what I've been waiting for. The key fob. It comes with two so both Mama and Papa can each have their own keyless remote entry. Finally, the part you've all been waiting for, the pièce de résistance, the actual door latch. I am really pleased with the design of this door latch. They still come with keys too. Now, before I do anything, I'm going to read the instructions. And what's really nice is that the first page of the instructions, there is a QR code that you can scan and the manufacturer will give you visually step-by-step -step instructions for installation. So step number one is to remove the battery panel on the back of the latch. You see these two screws right here, pop them out and put in the batteries, zip them back in. Battery installation is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Now on to step two. You are going to separate the two pieces of the latchet system, the front face plate from the rear face plate. Just be sure to keep track of those screws. You're gonna need them here in a minute. Here is that very basic door lock assembly that we bought at Camping World. So we're gonna take that out. Now we did go and get my own screwdriver as opposed to using the screwdriver that came with the locket kit. And that's simply because the screws in this assembly are slightly larger and I don't wanna strip the screws out. So I've got a proper Phillips head. We're gonna get it out. Lickety split. Now, as you can see, the screws are here on the inside of the door and I just have four of them to remove. Now that I have removed those four screws 
in taking the plate off here, I have to remove these two screws off the strike plate before I can actually remove this whole assembly out of the door. Boom. Easy peasy. Now for the big upgrade. Now before I actually install the plates, into my door frame, I want to make sure that I clean that surface really, really well. As you can see, uh, some dust and grime has gotten under the old latch uh, over the years. So we want to make sure that we're starting with a nice, smooth, clean surface. There's that foam cover I was talking about before. All you do is peel off the backing and place it. Now it, do, it is superimposed with the hole. Uh, the manufacturer does recommend that you actually stick the entire pad down first, then pop this extra piece off so you don't have to worry about any stretching or tweaking or any issues with it laying perfectly flat the way it's meant to on your door. We've now got our little foam padding installed. Easy peasy. Now for the installation of the face of the door lock. Now here is where it gets tricky. When you turn this baby over, here is the electrical brain and the wires that are coming out of it. So you have to be very careful not to pinch these wires as you're inserting this into that hole. I recommend actually inserting the wires through the hole first. Then you're going to go in at an angle, putting the latch inside the little hole of the door by the strike plate first, then pop the rest of it in. It's a little delicate. You have to go in at an angle, but just go slow, double check your wiring. You should be fine. Let me show you how easy it is. This first. Now that the front plate is on, we are going to install the strike plate on the door jam. All right, now we are moving on to the installation of the rear face of the door lock. Now here is where it can get a little bit tricky. You have to first attach the wiring hubs together. You have to make those connections. Then you line up the face plate with the screws. And while you do that, you have to be careful not to pinch any of these wires. This is where an extra hand would come in handy. So go slow, take your time. Do you remember those long black screws? Do you remember where you put them? I hope so, because here's where you're gonna use them again. Now, before I put my four screws in and tighten it down, I'm gonna test out my latch. If I turn it clockwise, it should engage the deadbolt here. Woo! All right, my wires are out of the way. My deadbolt is latching. Let's get this thing put together. Another important note, the manufacturer says not to over tighten these screws. Just get them all so they're nice and snug, but not over tight. Okay, you're almost there. The last little teeny piece of this project is installing that strike plate. Just two little screws, top and bottom, zip, zip, and you are done. Now let's test this baby out. Test number one, it closes. Test number two, let's see if she opens back up. Now, I am not actually going to go into detail about how to program your door lock. Hey, I don't need people coming around and reprogramming my lock for me. But the instructions that Lockit gives you are very clear, very detailed instructions, so it makes it very, very simple. I have programmed the lock to my super secret code, and I've also synced my key fob. Now, for the test that I've been waiting for to see if this delightful little tool truly works. Let's hit the lock button. Oh, oh my Lanta, it works. Oh, 
Mama's got a new toy. Mama likes. Now let's unlock it. What? Oh yeah. I mean guys, this thing is worth its weight in gold just for this fancy little upgrade. I am loving this. And this thing is so sleek, it's so sexy, it's stylish, and it is stout. When I lock my door, I feel safe and secure that no one is busting that baby open. Oh yeah, I am super happy with this purchase. Well, that wasn't too bad. Pretty easy job. So if you guys like this video, if you found it helpful and informative, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, we want to welcome you, but we also want you to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can be notified anytime we release a new RV Tips Family Adventures Travel Nurse video or if we go live. And leave me a comment down below. What did you think of the install? Does it give you encouragement to try it on your own? Do you have a Latchet product and how satisfied are you with this product? Let me know in those comments. Also, if you want to get this very same Latchet RV door lock deadbolt system, I will include a link in the description. It is an Amazon affiliate link, so yes, we do get a little teeny, teeny, tiny kickback from Amazon, but it costs you nothing extra, and we sure do appreciate it. I'm Natasha, aka Barbvila, with Nursing Our Travel Bug, encouraging you to nurse what makes you happy. Happy camping. Oh yeah. Honey, I'm home.